All right. This is Myrtle S. Toe. She is our business office manager and registrar and and a lot of other things, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so you were a hotel management graduate in 2019. Yeah. But you had previous experience working in the field, right? Yes. So you came here to certify your experience, right? Sure. Okay. So what made you want to stay and serve here at UDS? Okay. I, I want to say, like, I choose to see the chef UDS because it gave me what I really needed. UDS is like a family to me, and it gave me what I needed, so I decided to stay and share with others and give the people back in return. Okay, so what you received, you wanted to give back and help others? Oh. Um, receive accreditation, good education, how to serve people, uh, humanitarian services, volunteer, and in UDS I get to know that it's good to serve. And as a child coming up, I've been having this passion of always serving people. So it's something that was really part of me that I uh, was not infected into it until I entered UDS. Okay. So what do you all do here? Yeah, we do a lot. Yes, we are called UDS or home away from home because here we got gardens, we have comfort, we have everything that's in life to us all because here if you're down how to you enter UDS, you feel your life, you feel Get to know who you are, you become independent. Okay. It's one thing that UGS already made you to be. UGS always made you to be independent. UGS made you to understand that you don't need to wait for others before you do something. You don't need a degree before you start to do something. They always show you the way why right to become an independent person, to become an entrepreneur, to work for yourself or for your own aim. Okay. Yeah. So, what are some of your job functions? Your duties that you do in this office. Okay, here in this office, I do registration. I don't see a fair of the institution by maintaining, getting uniform, getting our uniform, counseling the kids, settling problems between kids and parents, and also staff issues. Also. Okay. Yeah. And you take care of a lot of the records and taking in the money and all that type of stuff as sure. well. Yeah. You, um, you wear many hats here. You're, yeah. and you're kind. Of, you are second in command. So when Calvin's away, you, you make sure everything is, yeah. is being run. Yeah. So, um, so from, um, being a student, being part of the staff, what would you tell young people that may not know that we're here? That maybe they should come learn a trade. What would you tell them? Um. There's always one that I want to recruit me, always try to do. And so you do this, and you get to know that you have wasted time. Because when you come, the first thing, it made you know who you are, because some people out there don't know who they are. Hmm. Because it depends on all of every little thing. But even, if, let's take an example, like if you, if you had a five months in here, and the person is nine, Respect you or they feel that they do everything for you. As of you, they just enter UDS. You will see, you will see the changes. UDS help to restore homes, help to give you self respect, help to make people to be recognized in the society. And I am one of those, and I'm part of UDS. Because in UDS, I know who I have become and know where UDS is heading to. So I always check in and I say, I'm a, I'm a student of UBS, I'm a alumni, I graduated, it's in UBS, I get to know that independent is good, that I can earn my own money, I don't have to wait for someone, I have to earn my own money. In UBS, I get to know that the vocational aspect is very important in our life. Yeah. So, I 
Oh, you be or who may we be? Hmm. And what, what draw you to, I know right away you were interested in the academic school. What was it that really draw you to want to be part of the academic school at UDS? Okay. Um, what really draw me is seeing the little kids, seeing the best English room out there, sharing English with their name in school, by senior nine. They finish there, they are in school, just doing label, label, taking label work, just working. So I went fair the thing because I finish crash my hand to them into an end of UBS. So when you get him out with the idea of okay, this, I embrace it with all my heart because I long be wishing to help kids out there that don't have the means of going to school. but. I couldn't do it alone. And in UD, I got to know about team work because unless you achieve something, you have to have a team. Mm -hmm. You cannot achieve it alone. You have to work as a team. So that was really drawing me close to the academic area because it was something I've been in. But I couldn't do it until I entered UD. The UD gave me opportunity to bring up my dream and my desire. Can you share the story about the boy who was selling coconuts? Yeah. I got two kids. The older sister brought it from the interior. And they were in Malaysia selling around four years without entering school. She had her job waiting for her. So one time, they were sitting out there. And for a pass, I decided to buy a coconut from him. And he said, Angie, I want to talk to you. So I said, okay, for right now, I'm busy for you. Come back. When you came, he said, Angie, I want to go to school. I said, are you not in school? He said, yes, I'm not. Um, about, it was around 16, 17, when he started for food. So I looked at him, I said, which class? He said, okay, I asked him, he said, you think you know for food? He said, Angie, I don't, sh I don't have shame. I want to learn. I mm -hmm. can make it. So, he said, but I don't have support. I'll sell it coconut. So what I want to do, I want you to help me get a coffee food. So every day one serve, I bring hundred out of like bring that up in market on the education on my feet. And I have been on that for four years now. He see me every now. Hmm. Yeah. And he's still paying for his own fees. Yeah. So he's what, um about eighteen? No. No. Yes, about he about or twenty. Twenty, twenty. That's yeah. right. Yeah, twenty. Twenty one. 21. Yeah. And he, he it wasn't ashamed. He wanted to get his education. He didn't yeah. care how old he was. Yes. That's a very nice story. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that, Myrtle. It's it, this is going to be helpful, and um, we appreciate all that you do to help UDS grow and manage the day-to-day -day activities. I know you bring ideas. You're the one who brought in the idea for the let's make our own caps and gowns, especially what happened last year when someone charged us a lot of money for one that was not good. And you're trying to find ways to help us save money where we can and um, and just all your contributions. So thank you. All right, we'll be done.